Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this channel, I'm covering communication skills in order to help you level up your way with words and become much more articulate. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome aboard. Every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm dropping new videos on topics such as public speaking skills, social skills, creative writing skills, along with other subjects which will help you learn the intangibles and become much more clear in expressing your ideas. Join the tribe by hitting the subscribe button right on below and never miss another video again. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about shyness in a different lens. If you've been following me for some time, I've made different videos in regards to shyness, and I believe I've tackled it as to how to overcome it. And there's a lot of different strategies on how someone can overcome shyness. One method is through the scaring method, where you make yourself aware of all of the opportunities that you're losing out on, and now it's time to do something about it. Another method is through public speaking. I get a lot of emails routinely from different people who follow my blog, my YouTube videos, my podcast, who tells me that they've joined Toastmasters in their respective part of the world, mainly because they wanted to overcome shyness. If you could speak in front of 50 people with ease, then five people become light work. And for other people, it comes down to doing some form of content creation. Maybe start a YouTube channel, maybe start a blog, maybe start recording videos on LinkedIn and showing that you have skill sets within a certain domain and be okay with people that you know watching you. These are different methods as to how someone can conquer shyness. But despite all of these looking different, I was able to notice something. This is one of those situations where it's the narrative that plays the biggest role. By understanding the narrative, it gives context to the situation. And I was fascinated when a couple of months back, I was engaging with this one person who I was potentially going to work with. He was requesting a free consultation call for speaking in front of the camera. And as we were speaking in our free consultation call, this guy was talking and talking and talking nonstop. And I'm thinking, damn dude, it seems like you already have all the answers. Why are you hitting me up for? And around the 13 minute mark, he was speaking like there was another 50 minutes left in the call. So that's when I decided that I gotta interject and let him know that the call is about to wrap up. Once I tell him that we're in the final two minutes and if he has a problem, let me know. Otherwise I can't do much about it. That's when he tells me something. He says that he's shy. I'm thinking, you don't seem shy to me. You seem like a talkative kind of guy. But that's when he follows up with, I'm shy mainly in front of the camera. Go on. And he starts to tell me that he had this wedding recently for his best friend. And roughly around the end of the wedding, there's the cameraman videographer that's going up to different people and asking them, would you like to give a few words for the bride and the groom? And most of the people are saying a few words with ease. While this gentleman who called me suddenly starts to freeze up. He starts making a bunch of excuses as to why he isn't going to record the video. And in the initial stage, the videographer was like, okay, it's fine. But then the other friends in the family were like, you, you're not going to give some words for the wedding. You're one of the most important people at this wedding. You got to say something, go ahead, say something. So the videographer comes in front of this gentleman turns on the recording light and this guy is over here trying to say something and his personality suddenly shifts. He's stiff and his body language is suffering. 
This is unusual behavior, mainly because normally he's so different. And nowadays, there's that video that's frozen in time from this gentleman's wedding that depicts this person on his flaw, which is camera shyness. This situation started to teach me that different people can get shy under the different contexts. And I was eventually able to work with this gentleman and we had roughly three sessions for our package. And most of it was not even the physical exercises. It mainly come down, came down to deconstructing why it was that he had this fear, particularly in front of the camera. And as we were able to go more and more into it, he was able to say why that was. Not me telling him why it was, he was able to say why it was. And it was mainly because growing up, there was this um, camera that his close friends and um, brother, cousins had, and they would all record each other doing silly activities. Well, there was this memory that he has where he was apparently skateboarding and he fell. He was roughly 18 or 16 at the time. And there was a lot of physical pain that was associated with him falling. And this was the moment when his friends were able to capture this moment and they kept replaying it back. And as they were replaying it back throughout uh, their ages together, they would pretty much harass this gentleman for falling like that. And I guess subconsciously, he wasn't even aware like that. He associated that physical pain of falling on the skateboard with the video camera. So as he was able to make that connection for himself, that's when he realized for himself, yo man, I'm actually being kind of silly, aren't I? I'm not telling him anything. And I feel a little guilty because I'm like, you still don't be paying me for the hour, man. But you're pretty much solving your own problems. And as he was making that connection for himself, ah, I'm being silly, aren't I? That's when he was able to begin his journey towards speaking in front of the camera. Nowadays, I believe he routinely records small little clips on LinkedIn and he posts it and it's in front of a lot of those people who were making fun of him for the wedding video and a lot of those people who recorded him falling off the skateboard. So what you want to understand in regards to shyness is that these acts of public speaking, of speaking up a little bit more in every interaction, doing some form of content creation, that's actually a derivative that comes later on and that helps you with the most important part. And the most important part is trying to find that narrative which caused you to become shy in whichever context of your life. Maybe you're someone who is great in front of people, but in front of technology, such as speaking in front of the camera, you suddenly become camera shy. Once you can spot why you think that is, that's when the narrative mind starts to become altered. And you know you're on the right track. This is one of the most important parts. When you think, what? That's so silly. That's what it should make you say. That's so silly. Sort of like this gentleman and sort of like with a lot of people who as babies, there's no shy baby out there. They're talkative, they're loud. But something happened at a certain point and that process of searching for what that point was now makes you as an adult look and be like, whoa, I was behaving in a certain way for so long from a narrative that is silly. And once it is identified that the narrative is silly, that's when all these activities become filled with life. Nowadays, you want to go to the Toastmasters meeting. Nowadays, you want to record the YouTube video. Nowadays, you want to speak up a little bit more in each networking event. It starts with that narrative. What is your narrative that makes you say, ah, that was so silly. And I am realizing this for myself. Once you spot that moment, all these activities now start to have life within them. If you want more practical insights like this into shyness, be sure to check out my free 
email follow-up sequence which discusses how to overcome shyness. In this follow-up sequence, I'm going to be taking you on a journey where you're going to be taken through a series of emails and you are going to get an opportunity to spot your narrative moment and then you are going to find different ways, practices on how you can overcome shyness so you are speaking up more in social situations, in public speaking situations, and in digital content creation situations. Check out the link for Breaking Shyness in the description box or the pinned comment right on below. And thank you very much for joining the Armani Talks YouTube channel.